Hi everybody, Derek for Camping Club here. And do you camp in a tent or a pop-up camper that doesn't have a bathroom in it? Or perhaps you do have a bathroom in your camper, but the shower area isn't really big enough to have a decent shower in. Well, why don't you get a shower tent? This is the Ozark Trail two-room instant shower utility shelter. It's seven feet long by three and a half feet wide. Originally, we were going to use the shower tent to put our porta potty in and have a little washroom area along with our shower, but uh, there's a pit toilet like right there. So why get our porta potty? dirty and have to clean it out and so we'll just use it as a washroom shower tent so you can put this tent up pretty quick all the poles are attached to the tent already so you just extend them and uh, it probably goes up in a minute or two there's a window here and then there's a window on the other side and as you can see, it's got an entry door right there. Let's take a look at the inside of the tent. Okay, so right here uh, is a little wash basin that I made out of a couple Lowe's buckets, a piece of plywood, um, just like a big bowl that I uh, cut a hole in. This is a battery operated faucet that connects to that battery right there. It pulls water out of this bucket and it drains into this bucket. And that look works really well. So anyway, back to the actual tent itself. Each side is the same has got the same dimensions they're like three and a half by three and a half it comes with a pole that hangs on a couple straps to hang your towel or whatever we 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 bought this mirror separately but we have that hanging from a couple straps that are up here in the top of the tent over here in the shower part uh, there's a door you can zip open and shut for when you're taking a shower. Down here on the floor, as you can see, there's a tarp, which is surrounded by some mesh, so the water can drain out into the ground. There's a couple pockets over here. You can put your um, soap and shampoo and other toiletries in. Uh, of course, the window on one side. And the window on the other side there's little hooks around that you can hang things in or on um, we happen to have a little light hanging from here then up here there's a little hook you can put your shower head on uh, that's decent size area over here to take a shower in um, this shower does come with one of those uh, solar bags that you can fill with water and put it out in the sun and have it heat up and hang from there but uh, we don't do it that way I came up with another uh, thing to use to take a shower with which I think would <laughs> probably works a lot better um, but uh, yeah it's it's really nice and if you don't want to use it as a shower you there's definitely enough room to pour a porta potty over on this side and then your wash basin or whatever else over here or I could just use it as a changing room okay so here's my plan I got a seven gallon water jug to put the water in a water heater that you put in buckets to heat up water a rechargeable pump uh, with a a shower head on the end of it that will pump the water out of the jug and hopefully onto me and a digital thermometer to check the 
temperature of the water. Okay, I took my water jug out of the tent and now I'm going to heat up the water. I already got the water heater in there. As we can see by the digital thermometer, it's almost at 63 degrees in there. So I'm going to plug in the, the heater. And uh, we'll get it up the temperature. I don't know. Uh, hot tubs are around 104 degrees, so maybe I'll kind of stop around there. It doesn't really take long for this water to heat up, so we'll check back after a while and see what the temperature's at. Well, so far it's been heating for 10 minutes, and the temperature has gone up to 78.4 degrees. So it's not super fast, but they say a watch pot never boils, so I imagine uh, the same is true for a water jug. We'll check back again a little later. Well, 15 minutes, and the temperature is at 85.3, which is probably about the temperature of a heated pool. I think I'll take it up to about where a hot tub is, maybe a little bit more, and call it good. That should be warm enough. Well, so 30 minutes, and we're at 105.3. That should be good enough. What is that? Um, about... 40 degrees in 30 minutes. Well, definitely uh, boiling water on the stove would be quicker, but then to dump it into the uh, jug might be a little dangerous. So this might be going you know, to take a little longer, but it's probably a little easier overall. So, all right, let's try it out. Okay, so here's my setup. The shower tent comes with this little hook that you can put your shower head on. I had to uh, unscrew the hose from the shower head and then run it up through the hook and then screw the shower head back on. And then the hose comes all the way down here to the pump, which just fits inside the mouth of the jug and goes down all the way to the bottom. I had to put the jug on a little cooler because the cord, the tube wasn't quite long enough to go down to the very bottom of it. But um, yeah, that makes it a little higher. And then I do have to turn it on and off by the switch. Uh, so I would uh, get myself all wet, turn the switch off, soap up, and do my hair. And then rinse off. I think you're going to get about five minutes of shower time out of this, which isn't too bad. Um, it might take a little practice uh, to get down to a five minute shower. But if you turn it off and then turn it on, you know, um, that's one way to do it. I stepped out of the shower and I'm going to turn on the button to show you how good of a spray it gives out. Hey, see, that's a really good stream right there. Uh, okay, about ready to have the maiden shower in the shower tent. Wish me luck. Oops, better close this. Don't want to give everybody a show. Wow, that was better than I expected. 105 degrees for the water temperature was definitely just just about right for me um, I turned the stream off uh, after about 30 seconds of soaking down and then I use one of those little like loofah sponges to, to get all nice and sudsy and then wash my hair and then uh, turn the water back on and probably used another two and a half minutes and which was you know quite a while when you're just standing there and uh, rinsing off in fact I didn't use all the water. Um, I probably got about a quarter of a mile of water in the jug. So you could probably take four minute shower, maybe a little bit more. Um, that is a, of, a, of a actual um, spray, spray time, water spray time. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. I'm, 
I think I'll, I'm definitely going to use that a lot more often uh, when we're camping. Even if we're close to a bathhouse, maybe I'll use it because yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so if you have a tent or a pop-up camper that doesn't really have a shower in it, or you have a camper that doesn't have a very big shower and you can't really stretch out, I would uh, recommend getting a one of those two-room um, shower tents and getting the same type of a setup as I got. Um, yeah, <laughs> worked really well. Uh, well, thanks for watching. I um, If you liked uh, the video, please click the like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos, um, click on my subscribe button and then click on the bell and you'll be notified by email when I upload new content. See you next time.